Big fish are a lot easier to shock and we net those readily. Um, the little ones kind of uh, uh, basically get attracted to the current so they're kind of swimming towards the boat and we can dip them up as well. Once they get in the tank it takes them about one to two minutes to recover and then uh, they'll right themselves. They'll start off on their sides and then they'll right themselves and and uh, we pump lots of fresh water in here and then they're really lively and ready to go back in the lake. And doing electrofishing allows us to kind of go around the shoreline and sample a lot of different species like largemouth bass and all your panfish like bluegill and pumpkin seed and catfish. And then we have a few other gear types we use like gill netting and fike netting which capture other species a little better. But electrofishing is by far the best gear type for capturing a, a diversity of species. Um, we did get a few yellow perch that we scooped up. It's a fairly small one. They get pretty nice in this lake and the anglers catch them up to 8, 10, 12 inches long. One of the more um, loved species in Washington is the black crappie. And they're, yeah, it's a really nice one, about nine inches long. Maybe it's, it's just beautiful and they're very tasty to eat. And I think we had a bluegill. There's a bluegill. You can see the stripes on the side and the, and the blue right there on the gill. Now this is like a, a nice 12, 14 inch bass probably three to four years old. Let's get into a little nicer size of bass. This fish is uh, probably 16. It's like two, two and a half pounds. And then we get even a little bigger than that. We get into like, like an 18 inch fish. It's probably three and a half. Yeah, just a gorgeous fish in really good shape. And they're so strong and you can see how lively they are. You know, no worse for wear after being shocked. They, oh, here's the bullhead. You gotta be careful when handling these guys. They have pectoral fins that can be pretty sharp on the small ones. But I think they're pretty cute. <laughs> they live on, along the bottom in the mud, so they look like the mud. But they're um, really adaptable and versatile. They eat a lot of different stuff, whatever's most available. They can, and then here's, here's the next generation of largemouth. Now this fish, it's probably last year's fish, so. 